This occasion is to mark the 25th anniversary of this is a, a body I've been spoke to many times over the years when it was the um, British Irish Parliamentary Group and now the Assembly. Um, but today we had a good discussion. John Holmes, who was the key civil servant for Tony Blair at the time, uh, just to reflect back on the, the agreement and uh, to try and take questions from the members. I was particularly anxious to stress the, the importance of the East-West because I think it's sometimes forgotten uh, that the importance of the East-West and that it's set out in the agreement. Uh, because now with the UK out of Brexit, there's not the same connection uh, or association between uh, politicians, but not only politicians, but the, the working groups of civil servants. Uh, so I, I think the, some people call on the necessity of having some new body to do that. There's no need for a new body. The East-West arrangements under the Good Friday Agreement are, are already designed to do that. And so I, I do hope that as we go forward with the UK out of it, and hopefully when these institutions here in Stormont are, are back up and running again, that we'll be able to see a, an enhanced role for the, uh, the East-West relationships under the, uh, the Good Friday Agreement. You spoke in the chamber about the importance of not putting any kind of time frame for the restoration, but if you were still in the Taoiseach's chair, what do you think would be a reasonable period of time for the DUP to examine these proposals and make their position clear? Well, I, I, I don't, I'm not into the job of putting pressure, but I think I, any reasonable interpretation, I've read the full documents now, um, I've talked to several legal people who've read the full documents, uh, so, uh, but, so I think that end of the process is finished. Now it is the clarifications. And I think it's reasonable in a document that is so lengthy and so many legal backgrounds that people will have clarifications, particularly both legal clarifications and just working mechanisms, how these things are going to work in effect. But it would seem like a few weeks um, is, is a reasonable time. Yes. Is that something that you think is being forgotten or are you concerned about the longer that the politicians take to make a decision that the paramilitaries and other groups fill the void? Yeah, I, I was taking up from, from what the uh, Independent Commission's work is, the commission that Tim O'Connor and Monica Williams and uh, John McBurney and others are, Mitchell Reese are involved in, and, and they, uh, in their recent report, uh, which covers all of, of last year, and 2021-2022, uh, they're strongly making the point that they have made a recommendation uh, that uh, paramilitary groups, um, not in any hostile way, but that they uh, trying to bring them into the normal process uh, and trying to see their closure um, uh, is, is an essential issue. And I think they, they have written several pages in the report of the importance of this we don't seem to hear too much about that, and I think they're, they're the people who are tasked both to communicate and to talk to them. So I think it is a very important issue, uh, because as we move forward to normality, I think 25 years on, it's fair to be saying that we should uh, see a, an organised and debate. And what they're saying is, and I know some members of, 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 the, of this body have also been saying it, uh, is that there should be a, an active involvement with the groups it's not a question of forcing somebody, it's, it's an act involvement with them uh, to bring an end to paramilitarism as we've known it for generations. You've been discussing the significance of the Good Party Agreement 25 years on, but with all of the institutions suspended, does this mean more like a week? Well, hopefully it, it, it'll be back up and running again. I've made the point that there's the two, uh, there's the two issues. Um, there's one is the, the peace dividend one, and then uh, the political one. But, um, it, you know, it would be some wake if all across the world, this last week, people have been talking about the Good Friday Agreement. You know, I, I've seen it on CNN and Australia and Canada. So I think pe people around the world are actually um, following this very closely. I'm doing an interview later on with German, uh, the German media. So, you know, I think people are anxious to see the outworkings of this. So hopefully we'll see the Good Friday Agreement, with all its imperfections, move on um, in the next few weeks. Do you think there's any chance of uh, this place being up and running for April 10th? Yeah, I, I think if people want to, 
uh, if people want it to, to be, I can see it. If, like clarifications, I don't know how many clarifications are necessary, um, but, you know, Rishi Sunak can't continue to give this uh, high preference as we've been doing now for several months indefinitely. Um, uh, watching the media every day, as you're reporting every day and your colleagues across the water, he's a lot of issues to deal with and he can't be sitting around. So uh, I think these, these issues should, should be, be possible to deal with them fairly quickly. Yeah, I know, I know the on for reforms, but as I was saying this morning, I think get the institutions up and running and then have the debate about there's a review mechanism in the agreement. Um, there are a number of issues people want to raise. Alliance have been very strong about the, their issues, but I think they should all be looked at, uh, but not in advance of the institutions being up and running. I think it's hugely important that the institutions get up and running as quickly as possible, whether that's a week, two or three, four. But, uh, and then you can review uh, whatever outstanding issues are there. But I do agree, um, it, it's, it's not um, democratic to have democratic institutions brought down so, so frequently. That's certainly not a good idea. That's a speculation about a lot of things. I keep away from that. All I did was join my, my local uh, common branch in, in Drunkondran that led to all kinds of speculation, so don't listen to that too much. So you have no interest in the arts? I didn't say that. Uh, would you like to say that you do have an, uh, an interest? I didn't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank